Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will talk about capacitors and batteries and the similarities between them as energy storage devices. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Everybody knows that batteries store energy as we use them all the time to power our devices. Capacitors can also store energy. Here I have this LED connected to the capacitor and let me use the power supply to charge the capacitor. It charges almost immediately and you can see the LED on, but when we disconnect the power supply, the capacitor discharges very fast. Let's see again. You can see the light. I'm going to disconnect the power supply. So the charge in the capacitor only lasts for a couple of seconds. Batteries have two main characteristics. One is its voltage. This is 1.2 volts and the other its capacity. This, for example, has a capacity of 2100 milliamp hours. And that means that the battery can provide 21,000 milliamps for a time of one hour. Capacitors also have a working voltage. This, for example, works at 25 volts maximum and also a capacitance. In this case, 4700 microfarads. But remember that the capacitance of a capacitor is not the same as the capacity of a battery. The problem with the normal electrolytic capacitors as elements to store energy is that the duration is very small, as we could see in the LED example. This, for example, has a capacity of 4700 microfarads. But with the new technology of supercapacitors, we can have much more larger capacitances. This one, for example, is of 400 farads, not microfarads. So with this new type of capacitors, we have the hope of using them as if they were batteries. The question that we want to answer in this video is if there is an equivalence between the capacitance of a capacitor, which is given in farads, and the capacity of a battery that is given in milliamp hours, such that I could be able to say what is the milliamp hours of this capacitor or the farads of this battery. In order to answer this question, we need to remember that the energy stored in a battery is given by its amp hours times its voltage times 3600 in order to convert from hours to seconds. And the energy stored in a capacitor is one half of the capacitance times the capacitor voltage squared. Now, in order to find the equivalence, we equate these two expressions and from here we can solve for the amp hours or for the farads. And we obtain these two equations. The first one will give the equivalent capacity of a certain capacitor and the second will give the equivalent capacitance of a certain battery. Let's do the examples with our battery and our capacitor. First, we find the equivalent amp hours 
of our supercapacitor, which is of 400 farads and has a rated voltage of 2.7 volts. And doing the calculations, we obtain a capacity of 337.5 milliamp hours. And if we do the math for our battery, which is of 2.1 amp hours and has a voltage of 1.2 volts, we find that this little battery is equivalent in energy of a capacitor of 2,489 farads. However, things are not that simple because we have to remember that capacitors and batteries behave differently when they discharge. Here I have the discharge curves, that is the voltage as function of time, and the upper curve is for a battery and the lower curve is for a capacitor. A typical battery starts with its maximum voltage and as time passes the voltage decreases a little bit and then it stays at a certain value and at the end of the life of the battery the voltage suddenly goes down. On the other hand the voltage of a capacitor decreases constantly over time. Therefore, for example, at this value of time, our battery will still have its working voltage, but our capacitor will have a very low voltage that maybe will be not enough for our application. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. See you in the next video.